What is up everyone and welcome to Spade Outdoors and another episode of Foul Friday. And on this video we're going to talk about flighting for geese and how important it is and it's about just as important as calling. And flighting works really good when they're off in a distance. I mean it's basically like a comeback call more or less. So when they're off in a distance hit them with the flight gets the attention because when they when you fly to them from a distance it looks like a juice that is flapping its wings that's on the ground. And that's what gets its attention. And they'll be able to they, they can see that far away. Where it's real good for hunting migrators. And also another where it's good too is when they're circling and they're trying to fly off the sides or they hit the corners, hit them with a couple, you usually bring them in. Basically, on how to do it, is you just take it and you'll have the under part of it facing towards you and just in the air. And, Give it a couple, and then basically just do that a couple times, especially when they're out in the distance. I mean, a lot of times, especially you're hunting migrators and they're out there, stand out of the blind, freaking put his hands on that thing and really crank out the flagging, and make sure you have your your wings thing locked in pretty good or, or come apart like that. But when they're you know, circling the spread and they're off to the distance, best thing to do is grab it your layup line and just go your hand out the side. Do that a couple times. Maybe do that once and then try it again. But that's basically how I like to do it when they're circling around. But when they're off the distance, give a couple of that. A couple of those. It's the most effective thing, and a lot of times you don't even need calls if you have the flag. For some reason, it's black and white. They love this thing so much. Don't know why, but it works. And the flag I'm using today is the Avery Power Power flag. Works real good. And if you guys, I have a review on one of my other flags, and in the library and you can see how I wasn't very pleased with this one and I just got this thing today so I'll do a review on it after a couple hunts but it's Avery so it should be a real good product so basically this is all you do is and there you go you got it and when they're migrators Give it to them, and then when they're real close, circle and spread. And that's that. So, anyhow, hope you guys found this video really helpful. I want you guys to hit the subscribe button down below. Stay tuned for more videos in the future. Like and share this video to all your hunting buddies, newbies, and even your uncle, whatever, it doesn't matter if I hunt, just share it to him. He'll probably enjoy it, hopefully. But, anyhow, Good luck out there hunting. I hope these tips help you out. And stay tuned if you're interested in Avery Power Flag reveal. I'll be within a couple weeks here. Hopefully get out this Saturday, use it in a hunt, and try maybe next week. So at least use a time or two in the field before I give the reveal. But stay tuned for more videos in the future. Have a good day. Good luck hunting. Be safe out there.